Rewind. Now it's time to put all the pieces together. First thing, close the main panel and be careful to the power wires. Now take the back plate and put it again on the motherboard and keep attention to the small pins that they have to fit inside the holes. When fitted, it's time to screw. One, two, three. Open the brakes of the serial port. Insert the cable of the LCD monitor and close again the brakes. Flip the monitor and clean it. Just a little. Take the case for put again your action cam inside it. And remember that we have the metal shield of the USB SDMI plug and I suggest that to put them first in the hole holes in the case. Keep attention to the buttons that they need to put inside there. If you did a mess like me that you broke um, uh, the power cables, no problem, you can fix them. Here you can see the fixed cables taken from a whole broken USB cable, like this one. Here we have an important improvement. Uh, you can see the power cables with a C form and in this way can be flattened on the motherboard and entry better inside the case. Now you will hear a click. It's a good sign. This is not necessary. Just for our security, before we close everything, we will do a power on test. So insert the battery, switch on, pray, and yes, it works. Now it's time to screw all the screws. So many screws. Damn. Now test all the buttons, you have to hear a click, check the plugs, insert the SD card, insert the frontal panel, push it with force along the side of the border. And now you can see how it's easy to Remove the, the lens and change it with the lens that you want. And remember when you screw the lens, uh, you need to be perpendicular with the plane of the action hub. 